Okay. Hello? Oh my god. I'm like so totally happy to be here. Who let him back here? It wasn't me. I'm... Someone forgot I'm to lock the back door. Scared. Yeah. I need to get like a fucking soundboard. James, keep yourself muted. I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> Oh. We get shitty dreams, and afterwards we get air horns. <laughs> Incredible. That would be great. I'll have to put that on roll 20. Just in the middle of one of your dreams, just release the air horns. Alright, well, who would uh, who would like to, to recap for us? For the man who may not have watched the session. <laughs> Well, I'm always down. Do it. Do it. Uh, let's see. Uh, session 41. Gaius is back and he has no clothes. He also has a letter from Cry that he burns. We discuss perhaps designating the group leader. Uh, Gaius's letter evidently told him to get laid, which in fairness is not bad advice except when you're badly injured. Um... Plans for the day, we might go clothes shopping. Holly does not jump on this opportunity like a rabid raccoon, which means something is wrong. <laughs> Holly wants to stay behind, but Mars encourages her to come with. Shopping montage. I owe Gaius 15 gold for Tuxedo Cat. I have new clothes and fine clothes for fine people. Uh, Holly talks to Mars about trauma stuff, IDK. Holly talks to JB about more trauma stuff. Oh, hey, dream stuff. Oh, no, dream stuff. Everyone has bad <laughs> dreams. Need dream exterminator. Oh, hey, dream stuff. Oh, no, dream stuff. I, I that sums more, it up. <laughs> I had a more detailed account of my own, but I totally forgot what happened in everybody else's. Sorry about that. Oh, do yours. Do it if you have it. Uh... Oh, I copy pasted it into a weird place uh jb dreams of red dragon who asks them to pick one there are cages on the ceiling with all of uh well a lot of people uh they choose themselves twice the dragon drops two random cages on the third time they do not answer paralyzed with indecision and all cages are dropped Poor little kitty. Alright. Very nice. You have inspiration? Thank you. Uh, God knows I'll need it. If I recall correctly, my nightmare was basically just my stepbrother taunting me into coming back home. That's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep, he's a little bitch! Yeah. What were, uh, what were the rest of your nightmares? Were these dreams supposed to be nightmares? I mean, it's up to you. How you interpret it. It's just a dream. What was yours, so Holly, Holly? Holly has a dream about the um, original group of heroes uh, that was written about in a book. Um, and uh, they're obviously like traveling somewhere and they have to get there before something flowers once a century and uh, tomorrow they'll find the grove and the dryad's tears. Awesome. Bless. Mars, you want to go over yours real quick? You're muted, Laura. Um, um, uh, so, <laughs> um, if I remember correctly, um, there, uh, there, there, there was a, a, a brief, uh, dream about, um, a uh, happy little encounter with a stranger. They were they were very nice uh, and offered flowers and hugs 
and there there was uh, no fighting or um, or death or fear or red mist or uh, or anything. Um, that's uh, it, that's it was... that's 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 great. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, aside from your trauma response to the nightmare, what was the actual nightmare? <laughs> You could do it. I have it right here. I could read it again for you. Um. Yeah. <laughs> well. Um. If I remember correctly, there's a thing, uh, it pops up, there's a bunch of red mist, and it comes along, uh, Muse's attacks, or Muse? Fuck me. Mars's attacks are completely useless, and, uh, one by one, everyone gets murderized, and, and everything is fine. Mars attacks, yes. Mm-hmm. And then? I mean... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, this... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can do it. I mean, like, is, is the ending really that important? Yes. I think it's the best part. I'm pulling up the document. Okay. So, after uh, your party being murderized, I believe that you got picked up by this red mist and somehow ended up back on the island. And, you know, you were in front of the temple back home, and in front of you were your teachers and your friends and your family. One person wasn't there. Mm hmm. And, uh, all of the god's keepers came up and bound you with magic and then dragged you into the temple. Your family was just like, wow, what a horrible person. You were taken all the way down mm -hmm. back to the god's chambers and... Oh, wow. I mean, what, what happened there? Something happened before you just bolted up in a cold sweat. I'm sure it's fine. It'll be fine. Ah, <sighs> so yeah. with that, I'm gonna switch the music over because we have a squee with us today. Amy doesn't dream. Never mind the last session where um that just didn't happen. Yeah, Amy doesn't dream. She nightmares. Uh, is it is it really a dream if it's a memory? Yeah, isn't that just called daydreaming? That's just remembering. So, Emmy. No. As you sleep. You note in this one that you're not that human woman that you typically see yourself as. In this one, you're some small furred creature. Not entirely sure which creature you are, but you're 
in a small cage with a, uh, a handle on the top, so, you know, any, any sort of thing, really. And once again, just in that pitch black room, no lights, the floor around you is absolutely soaked. You're soaked. It's freezing in here. And then the door opens. And inside walks more of the... I suppose we could call them, you know, scientists? With their dark cloaks and hoods pulled over and their masks. As they pick up your cage and walk out of the room with you, you cowering into a corner of it, down the hall, through many twists and turns, until they open up another door and set you in the center of the room. And you can see as they light torches around the area, just a few feet away from you is this woman huddled up. She's shaved bald, and you can just make out green eyes as the torchlight flickers. And what looks like elven, maybe half elven ears, who knows really as she's curled up with her knees to her chest, whimpering in the cage next to you. The scientists walk in and line the walls around the room. And in walks Another figure. This one you don't recall seeing before in these dreams, memories, visions, what have you. This figure wears a deep scarlet cloak. Hood pulled up with the same mask as the others. And walks in front of a the woman slams his hand down on the cage and the woman shrieks and whimpers and cowers further into the corner you see the he turns his attention to you walks over and bends over at the waist looking you over a bit before nodding to himself and stepping back. And vaguely, you can hear begin test 13. And with that, two of these scientists step forward with needles. One grabs the woman's arm and draws blood from her. Another does the same for you. Before two others take their place and instead inject you both with something. And this searing pain follows this horrible green-blue ichor that they've just injected you with. And it is almost, almost terrible enough that you are on the verge of passing out from it, but you manage to keep your consciousness. The woman doesn't seem quite so lucky. 
now unconscious on the floor of her cage. The head figure makes a motion and her cage is open. She is taken out and dragged out of the room. Before they walk up to you again, tap very gently on the top of your cage and nod. This one will do lovely. Take them to the room. Before the head figure walks out, your cage is picked up once again. And you're taken to another room. This one has several other various animals in it. You see cages that hold a crab, a brown bear, a small black cat. There seems to be a, a small dog or a wolf of some sort in one of them. And that's all you see before your dream ends. Oh. So I'm with you. Just remember it. <laughs> really mm -hmm. bad memories. Mm -hmm. um, well, actually, that's an important question. When Emmy wakes up, right? Mm -hmm. Will this be familiar to her? Would this be things that she could have remembered while waking, just chooses not to, and it found her in her sleep? Or is this new? How, how do you mean? In other words, um, would this be a memory Emmy would recognize? Like, oh, yep, I remember this day. I don't want to relive this day. Or is it more like, I don't remember that happened. You don't remember any of it. Okay. Any so of the things new. you've seen, all of it is new. Gotcha. Aside from the ones that seem to build off of each other with the same recurring roles, but other oh. than that, no. All of it's new. Yay. Yeah. Uh. God, Emmy probably wouldn't go back to sleep. Okay. She's going to be up before everyone else for once. Mm. All right. Well, the rest of you have all... Not simultaneously, it's not supernatural, but at some point or another, uh, during the early morning hours or some such, have gasped and bolted up awake. So, some of you have just sort of naturally woken up. <coughs> Holly. So. Where are we taking things from here? That's a good question. I think we should have some breakfast and reconvene about what to do with this... Brothers of the Seven. Do we want to go right back to the lumber mill? Or do we want to try and follow another clue or something? But still, I think we reconvene at breakfast. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay. If there are no objections. Uh... Oh, um. So Holly had something they wanted to do right before breakfast. Well, just go for it. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Um, as they woke up, uh, and. They 
you know, went and sat down in front of um, the little makeup mirror thing. Um, but instead of doing Holly's makeup, she um, instead uses the Hat of Disguise to start changing like their face ever so slightly and making it a bit broader, a little bit broader nose and chin, things like that. Okay. Um, and then, yep. So okay. that's how Holly is going to go ready in the, in the morning. So essentially just making her appearance a bit more masculine, yes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Anything else before breakfast, guys? Are we gonna and convene down? I guess. I'm, I'm so, good to convene. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, uh, I mean, the only thing you would notice is that Emmy is awake. Which has never happened before. Just sitting there staring at a wall. So, JB, uh, I'm assuming you would like follow Holly down to breakfast? Correct. Yes. Okay, so They're like at the. I'm also awake. They barely sleep. So, you would have heard Holly at, as she was sitting there in the mirror. She um, would have been saying. Uh, morning prayers. Mm -hmm. So she'll be offering a, a prayer to Saren Ray, which you hadn't seen her doing before. Um, and so uh, it's uh, until the darkness goes away, please light my path this day. May your rays shine down hope and guidance to those in need. May they be a shield to those too weak to protect themselves. May they carry a promise that darkness will one day pass. And then... Right before they, uh, like, when they're coming down the stairs, there's, like, that moment where you have that transition from the shadow of the stairs to, like, the light of the room. Mm -hmm. And so Holly will stop at that moment. Um, so I want to do... Get... Just do a constitution check on myself. So. Okay. Ooh, uh, really quick, right before you do that. Um, Squee, oh. I need you to roll me a con save. Well, since you demanded so nicely. Excellent. Ah. Excellent. Fantastic. Yeah, that's about par for the course for what we saw last You guys are saying these words. I do not think you know it means what you think it means. I know exactly what they mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I have... That's awesome. Okay, cool. Um, So, Holly, you're, you're doing a con check on yourself? What exactly are you doing? Yeah. Um, she, she. I just wanted to see how confident she felt. And so, yeah, basically... Okay. cool, cool. Uh, Holly kind of like pauses for a second and you could see there's just like a panic go over their face and then um, they change at the last minute and um, I'm using a random color generator mm -hmm. so Holly uh, at the last minute changes their face back to normal and um, makes their skin appear uh Pearl Night Blue. Mm. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty and cool. Okay. Holly will look at JB, and if JB doesn't say anything, Holly will walk out like that. Chris, JB wouldn't say anything if you were neon fucking pink. Speaking of. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Awesome. As you all settle down downstairs uh, and gather for breakfast, let me see. Emmy, JB, and Gaius. Uh huh. Let me make sure I have this correct for you. The three of you feel a bit 
nauseous. Like, got to puke right now, or just uneasy, queasy? Like, the horrible middle ground of, I'm, you know that point between where you need to sneeze, but you can't? Oh, I hate that, yeah. Oh. Okay. That, but with the contents of your stomach. Mm. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. So that's how the three of you are right now. So what you're saying is uh, guys has heartburn. <laughs> sure. I don't like it. Never had heartburn, so I couldn't tell you. It's what it feels like to me. Sucks. Yep. Wow, you need to get out more. Eat crazier foods mm. Mm -hmm. no. like acid Ugh. <laughs> get, get some real heart fern going Ugh. listen i'm i could go get some I, i'm not that far from miami wrong right. kind of acid <laughs> <laughs> there we go <laughs> you eat enough of it <laughs> Uh, all right. So yeah, you guys are nauseous. Oof. Emmy will of course not mention it because it's Emmy, but she's definitely feeling it. All right. When we get to the table, guys is probably going to think about what to order and then order something light, like a soup or a broth. <laughs> mhm. Mm Something not heavy that might upset his stomach. Right. JB is just probably not going to eat. Same. Oh, ho Holly's going to... You need to eat something. Maybe some oatmeal. That That's pretty... I mean, it sticks on the tummy and it's not prone to making people feel sick or, or maybe even an apple you don't know yeah, there's something you've heard an apple is very settling for the stomach no <laughs> you don't know any of them are sick yeah all you know is that we're not eating oh guys would probably yeah. complain but he would probably complain about heartburn <laughs> Uh, however, Emmy would notice she's not the only one not eating. Uh, does JB usually eat breakfast? JB has a weird relationship with food. They pretty much only eat meat, and they eat very sparingly. So then my question would be, if we come down to breakfast and JB does not eat, would this be a noteworthy event, or is JB kind of inconsistent in general? pretty inconsistent in general. There may be days where if you don't tell them to eat, they won't. Gotcha. Then Emmy would say nothing because there's not enough evidence to know there's something going on, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Emmy would just say nothing. And Holly would just assume that it was one of those days that JB needed to be told to eat because of whatever reason. Anxiety, nervous tummy. Do you tell them to eat? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying earlier, that, that Hollywood tell JB you need to eat, like, even just like an apple or something, settling to the stomach. Yeah, tell the carnivore to eat an apple. Have you been <laughs> keeping up on your vegetables, sweetie? When a cat goes Never outside said. and eats grass, you're like, oh, you're going to throw that up in about 15 minutes. <laughs> yep. right. Listen, my cat is in on, on an all-vegan diet, and with this essay, I will explain. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> yeah. Sentient creatures need 
their proteins and vegetables and all those good things to make the brain grow. Oh, wait, I guess different diets are a different thing, but that's way too much for Holly to pick up on. Holly's not a dietist. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Miss, you know, modern medical journal science can't understand the difference between an omnivore and a carnivore? <laughs> Considering Holly's from some bodunk town in the middle of nowhere? N like, <laughs> no, what I'm saying, like, it would not actually occur to Holly until somebody pointed that out to make that switch. Because mm. for Holly, it's just in that default, oh, this is what everybody has to eat mode. Mm -hmm. This is what everybody ate at home. Yeah. What, you mean? You I'll tell you what, if you, you put an apple in front of JB, they will eat it. They don't. Will they they don't, enjoy it? No, and they don't chew it. They just swallow it in chunks. Oh. oh. That's not going to go down well. Look, when all of your teeth are pointy, you have limited options. Correct. There's no grinding. There is only crunch. <laughs> all right. Yep. Chonky Apple Boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, balls in your court, guys. Um, well, we should, we should probably, um, go in and see how, uh, Paige, and everyone are doing. Yeah. That sounds like uh, a good idea. Or did we did we get a message back after sending to them to let them know what happened? All of them, uh, aside from Paige, showed up at the, the tavern. Oh. Yeah, Rhea, Arithia, and Isabella were all here. So they would they would all be present currently for for breakfast, <laughs> unless you guys want them somewhere else. So <laughs> Mars goes. We should check up on on all the guys like Paige and and Thea and <laughs> as just, they're like they're just fucking in sitting, for sitting there, breakfast. right? <laughs> right as Thea sits down tired. next to her, <laughs> like yeah. yeah. Oh, that was fast. Right. Um, <laughs> yes, Mars? Oh. <laughs> As Mars has a brain fart. No, just uh, well, it might look like it. She, she, as soon as you speak, she like stops, and like there's a moment where she looks at you, Gaius, but it's like she's looking through you, and her her gaze just goes blank for a moment, and then she shakes her head. I, I'm. I'm sorry, what, what, what were you... What was the question? You were uh, trying to say something. Um... Right. Uh, yes. Um... So, we, uh... If... If we're, um... And then, like, shakes her head a little bit and... Glances around. Um... We, we should decide uh, when and how we want to approach the mill. Exactly. And if we want to, we could try and pursue other options. 
Now that they oh. know that somebody's after them. And they know what we look like. Well, we... We could start with the, uh... The, the heads we have in our possession asking some questions. Yeah. You know, that might help us. We at least have an idea of where to begin to look for answers for what's going on. Makes sense. Uh, so I, I, I was... I was doing some reading and re reviewing on it, and um, you can ask to, up to five questions. So we should probably brainstorm those questions before beforehand. Yes, that that does seem like a good idea. Um... And uh, out of character, how many castings do you do you have? That's a third level spell, right? Uh, yes. So I can do it three times. Oh damn! Okay. How many hits do we have? We have three. Three. Oh, perfect. Um, so yeah, you have three for that, and then uh, Rithia can also do it, mm -hmm. which she's mentioned. Which I believe we also have that made. Mm, yeah. Yes, I believe so. No, did, did you take the body? No, yeah. Uh, we took the head, not- well, actually, no, we did take all of her, because we were like, yeah, we're gonna try and give Just... her a proper burial. Yeah. What, and... your religion again?! <laughs> And that How that's why <laughs> that's why I was like, I hope this isn't becoming like a a thing. <laughs> like you're not gonna <laughs> start collecting skulls and bo bodies and shit. Cause I already have one M character that does that. We don't need to. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you're just capturing shadows or some shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, totally after we're finished, we'll, we'll want to give them a proper cleansing and burial. Yeah. Their souls to rest or to eternal torment. If they were bad, you know, whatever. Depends on which god they were worshipping. Or Anyways. Or yeah, so do we want to head back to that mill? Do we what what do we what do we want to ask the question uh what questions do we want to ask the skulls as well? Um why they were there would probably be a good place to start. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. What's with the fucking outfits, y'all? You look yeah. like idiots. Mm -hmm. Rude. <laughs> fucking rude. It's not rude when it's the truth. That's still rude. <laughs> Reject reality and substitute it with mine. <laughs> it's true, but he didn't need to say it. <laughs> okay, fair. I am out of drink. I'll be back. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Um... So do we, important clarification, do we want to ask the questions of the skulls before or after? Because if we ask it before, that's probably going to influence how 
we try and approach all of this. Yeah, before is almost yeah. certainly the preference. Yes, de definitely before. What other... What other um... Okay, what would you classify greed as? Like an emotion? Um You you mean in reference to what they were capturing? Y yes, yes. Well, greed by definition is an excessive want usually of things that do not belong to you um most likely at the um the deprivation of of others so there's there's that greed is uh, greed is desire desire is an emotion R right that's what is Thinking was desire, you know. What other, what are, are there? Are there other strong desires or 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 strong emotions that they can harness? I mean, they can do it with with greed. Can they do it with murder, lust? Oh uh, yes, the, the seven deadly sins: murder. <laughs> we have murder. I I don't think. Murder. I mean, like, rage! Yeah. Sorry. Fun, but... <laughs> That's why I'm like, greed. Like, I always think of greed as the seven deadly sins, but I'm trying to not... Yeah. Um... Rage. Oh. Manslaughter? Homicide? <laughs> I love the, the sin of homicide. Oh, uh, yeah, that's my favorite sin. Uh, is there... Would it be like an arcana or a history or something to try and remember any like lessons on harnessing that kind of stuff for spells? I am back. I, I heard something about a history roll. I'm good at history. For... This, this would be specifically for Mars. Ah. Or. Fuck. Harnessing them for spells? Yes. That that kind of like that kind of power, not just utilizing like fucking blood or alchemy shit, but mm -hmm. like actual emotions and such and how they would be used. Um Considering you are a magic caster with your background, I would allow you to roll either. Thank God. Uh, why, why do you keep doing that? Every time I, like, minimize my character sheet, it, like, hides away in the corner, and I'm not sure why it's pulling that uh, shit. That's odd. Okay. 17. 17, 17. Let's see. Let's see. What do I have for you? Um. Do, 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 do. You don't know necessarily of emotions being like an actual component to do spells and whatnot, mm -hmm. but you do know that there were certain casters, especially those uh, those higher up, like keepers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um. And, you know, your, of course, your occasional wild magic swerk or whatever. 
that depending on how strong the emotion they felt at the time, it would affect their their spell work. Mm -hmm. But not just like pulling emotions. Not not pulling emotions from, from people to make things happen. No. Okay. There's of course you know spells that affect people's emotions, but nothing that mm -hmm. works the other way around. Mm -hmm. So she thinks for a little bit. I just. I'm not entirely sure how it's supposed to work because normally, uh, at least with uh, the casting that I've studied, uh, the emotions that would count in, in the spell would be your own, the, the, the casters, because you are the one who is directly influencing the magic. And simply capturing another person's emotions like some kind of ingredient. I, I've I've never heard anything about that. Um the people that we went up against, a couple of them were, were casting magic, but it was mostly like the kind of shit that an arcane trickster would do, right? Uh, for the cultists? Yeah. Let me double check, but I believe so. Yeah, because if uh, I remember um... correctly, most any magic that was being cast was essentially summoning daggers. Yes, it would be, yeah, more like arcane trickster stuff. I don't know that anyone that we would have available to us would have much information on it either. We, we can certainly try, but... If I remember, there's quite the cooldown on being able to ask questions of whichever individual you have. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> Got any, um... Well, we can certainly ask them questions still, just perhaps not about that specifically. I, I don't think that they would have any answers. That way we can <laughs> we can focus more on on their their uh, locations and uh, mode of operations. How many how many people are there, or even like personal motivations of why they joined. We we don't. Well, I, d I don't know how they find who joins them here. I mean, a good question would be even what, who are they? That is also true. Perhaps some insight uh, as to um, the actual individuals that are being recruited, or if they were recruited at all, perhaps it's... it's. She shudders a little bit. What about you? <clears throat> I assume 
would want to do this maybe some place safe from other oh. eyes yes certainly um to my uh, room remind Oh, well, I was actually going to say, like, doesn't, um, doesn't Paige have, like, charms against, like, spying and shit in her? Oh. I, that was the impression I had. But it's I like, if we were, if we were going to interrogate them, like, that might be the best place then. Okay. That's what I was thinking, but, you know, I don't want to invite my play myself over to somebody else's house. Emmy would do it. She'll you do it for ask. you. Emmy would do it in a heartbeat. Yeah, she don't care. <laughs> Just ask her. Just fucking kicks in the door. Hey, Paige, we're going to be summoning some demons. <laughs> hey, demons, it's me, your boy. <laughs> Emmy. <laughs> and I've had a bad morning. No, and I've had a bad morning. There's a reason she's not talking. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to stress this whole conversation. She's listening. She's paying attention. She's staring at a wall. <laughs> you know it's bad when even the telepathic speaker isn't talking. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, being quiet is nothing new for Emmy. <laughs> Yeah, but, I was gonna say, but like... But the distant staring might be slightly different. Um, so would, would someone be able to get in contact with her just to, just to make sure that it would be alright or, or even safe to do so? I, I mean, it would probably be a good idea just to get in contact and make sure that she is safe as well. Sure, sure. I could, I guess I could send her a message. Sounds like a plan. Or we could go and knock the door. Sure. What was that? Or we could go and knock on her door. Oh, yeah. Okay. What I mean, whatever you guys want to do. Because I, I only have a few spell slots and I wanted to save. It's a th third level. Oh. Sending is a third level. Hey, nerd, do you want your frosty? Yes. <laughs> gotcha. I don't have that spell, so... <laughs> I had some weird flashbacks. Hold up. Okay, sorry. I thought I'm that was your character, and I was so confused. Right? I mean, yeah, Amy's got Frosties very... for everyone. Yeah, Mars would very much like a Frosty now, please. Thank you. I just had flashbacks to being a teenager and receiving a Frosty, because that's how we would always ask if I want one. That's hilarious. Some things never change. War. War never changes. Basically, Squee is war. Since when did you get a horse? Ooh. If you're a horseman. Uh, get it? War? war horse? I got it. I got it. No, no, I'm with you. I'm pestilence. I see. So anyways, <laughs> I sure as shit don't have that spell, so. We we could, you know, we could bring her like a nice coffee and a scone, and that would make up for us crashing her doorstep unannounced, right? I feel like she's more of a tea person. You, you right? Hmm. You're both wrong. She drinks Monster. <laughs> oh, oh it's always the fucking nerd <laughs> it's always the quiet ones just kidding you, that you bet people that drink once the quiet one <laughs> Paige is all like timid and 
stuttering and then you give her a monster and she's like mm mm bitch <laughs> <laughs> I I mean I I could if you Oh what the fuck <laughs> I can think at a normal pace now <laughs> I've seen the face of God Does that mean you can see colors too? You can see them. Oh my goodness! All right. Anyways, are we uh we send in messages? We go in and knock on the door. We barge in. in we go and somewhere else. We want to just go home and forget this whole adventure. We're, we'll go and knock on the door. Uh, I believe <clears throat> there's a playwright I need to speak to. Sounds about um, right. You can go back. Jesus Christ. I think we should. Do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I mean, tomorrow night I can message the playwright. I'm sorry. The passenger you've tried to send is currently oh. unavailable. <laughs> Please. Holly, I respect and appreciate the thought, but... There's no way I'm going to convey this in 24 words. <laughs> or less. I'm sorry, the inbox of the person you are trying to reach is full. <laughs> Please hang up and try again. Alright, let's go knock on the door. Yep. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have done it on that table. Freak out my mic. It's fine. Yeah, it was fine. Miss Page? You there? A loud thuk behind the door. The sound of what you've now grown used to. Page is scrambling on the other side of it. Um... And a slightly red-faced, huffing page uh, opens the door. H hello? Um, hi. Uh, hey. hello? We brought you a coffee and scone breakfast. We also would like to use your space for an after-breakfast meeting. Would that be okay? Um, uh, sure. Um, just, she kind of blows the strand of hair out of her face. Um, yes, uh, here, uh, and pulls the door open for you. Thank you. Hey, out of curiosity, is, is Katia kind of, um, robotic? A little staticky. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, am I? Yeah, you're a little bit robotic. Oh, no. Hold on. It, it was accentuated with Paige. <laughs> I'm sorry. There she goes. Hello? Oh. Can you try to talk again? I'm in the red. Hold on. This is bad. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You need to emote more. Hello? Hello? How wow. Keep talking. Talky, 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 talky. There talky, we go. Talky, oh, talky, wait. Talky, talky. It sounds better to me. I don't know. It still makes my ears bleed. <laughs> wow. <sighs> hmm. I don't know. Maybe you need to close Discord altogether or and yeah, that I, works. I mean, I want to be clear. It sounds fine to me. We are going to go to the BRB screen. If you got a BRB, go for it. Hello. Hello. Fuck, I'm back in the red. We'll slow down. Shut the fuck up. Hmm, that is not an option that I have. 
Red is not the slowdown. Red is the stop. As in, you should stop, Squid. <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> also, also not an option I have. <laughs> Looking at my options here, not on that list. So, um... Ba, 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 ba. Are we good? Are we good? Are we my robotic? Are we good? What's happening? You are, are pretty robotic, unfortunately. Fuck. Um, maybe we should change the um. Where the... Yeah. Oops. That's yeah. What I Mind me how to do that? Uh, you have to go into the um, server settings at the very top, um, and uh, it's it's by individual right. Uh, it's by channel. Yeah. Right. Um. Uh, so, just right click on the general one and edit a channel the channel and yeah. Yeah. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Are we good? Yes. Looks good. Yeah. Drop. Sounds good. But awesome. Okay. Back to Rising Jesus Gods. Christ. Back to Rising Gods. Are you able to cut that shit? Jesus Christ. I'm not going to. I'm lazy. That's fine. Yay! <laughs> It'd be like that. I understand. I prefer it. <laughs> it's raw and real. People Actually, get to understand the actual... <laughs> Yeah, people got to understand the actual tries and tribulations of this podcast. Ugh, horrible nonsense that is playing online. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, where were we? We enter. You enter. You just pass. Oh, oh, hang on, hold up, wait a minute. Am I able to... Hang on, holding up, waiting a minute. Was I able to... I did, I did, awesome. Uh, is, uh... What the fuck is happening to my brain? My brain was just like, yeah, their name is Briar Rose. What? No, Who? Tangletooth. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what? what? Aurora! No, um... Right. Uh, is Tangletooth hanging out nearby? Tangletooth has sort of been just under the cart. Oh. Not inside, because they've not been allowed inside, but they don't know where else to go, so she's just, just hanging out under it. Uh, Margs is going to offer some of the deer meat that she bought. Throw me an animal handling. Yep. <laughs> Fuck you and your meat. No, it's fine. It's, it's your favorite. That's what they said. No, that's okay. <laughs> He'll just he'll just leave the the, the bit like near the, the cart and and just scoop inside. Mm -hmm. Glowing eyes just watch you from under in the shadow of the cart. It's not my vibe. <laughs> you poor thing. I have a plus eight to my deception. I it's so hard for me to actually <laughs> get anything above a 12. Unfortunate. Character burn. There he is. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm gonna keep pushing and prodding you guys. What's the plan? What are we doing? I believe we're supposed to enter the cart. I assume you have entered the cart. Okay. Set up for the speak with dead ritual. Oh. 
So Holly will start like putting out incense. Get JV's help with the heads. It, you're getting JV to juggle dead people. Which is just to hand me the, the, the heads from the bag, at, at least. Ah, okay. JV's favorite thing. Uh huh. Or, or you could hand me the bag and I can take them out. However you would prefer to do it. How do you want them? One at a time? Do you want me to throw them at you? I don't know if I have a high enough jex to juggle. Mm -mm. <laughs> I I'll walk over to you. I <laughs> like, takes two steps forward. <laughs> Can hand up to me. You are handed a head because you didn't specify. <laughs> uh, look at it. Uh, yeah. So, uh. <laughs> look at it. That sure is a head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this will work. Puts it in the middle. Sits down on their big fluffy pillow that they have arranged for them to be sitting on. And, um... Okay. Uh, she'd like the answer. Actually, um, what questions are we gonna ask? You know, why were they at the log mill? Who, who's their leader? What were they waiting for? So. Um, I mean, there's, there's plenty of, of options as, as far as, uh, what we should be asking. Um, I, I think the most important ones, at least right off the bat, would be strategical in regards to, um, the, um, but, word, sawmill, that's what mm -hmm. it is. God damn, words are really hard right now. <laughs> uh, in in regards to the sawmill, and so, well, uh, I, I I say that way. I I was about to say that way we can actually make a plan, but she pauses. Um. Well, we we can we can still ask those. Uh, we should also take into consideration the pos uh like you said, uh, who they are and, and recruitment tactics, perhaps, that might help us to understand the connection that these individuals have, and should we want to try and shake that later on, it would give us a better idea of how. If it is possible. Um, but perhaps we can we can leave that for another time. Um, she glances around at everyone else. Does anyone have any specific questions? Guys, what would you? What would I ask? ask if you were? Yeah. Um. Who do you work for? Where do they live? Um. How many bases do you have? Or maybe something along those lines. I'm iffy on the wording on that one. Yeah. If if. The, the sawmill has been compromised. What is the next place they would go to? That would be a yeah, good one. Yeah, their fallback. Um, how many members are in Heda? I think okay. those are four that I would go for. Um, <clears throat> in your mind, Gaius, almost as if, uh, uh, not an afterthought, but like it just occurred. Hmm. 
as if Eri just, like, something about him listing things snapped her attention. Perhaps we should ask if they know us, if they are aware of us. That is a good fifth question. Uh, Emmy suggests we should ask if they know who we are, if they have heard of us. Um, take those five suggestions and rephrase it so it works, and I think we're off to a good start. Yeah, I think that's, uh, perfect. So, um, I'll, I'll try and type those out. Oh, oh, I did. Oh, okay. Sorry. There you go. I, if you did my job for me, it's good. How she, dare you do his job for him? Where she pulled the pillow from? Uh, the hat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Felt a hat. Who does number two work for? The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? I was making an Austin Powers reference. Are you I was making an odd reference. Cage doesn't have throw pillows. No, she has a singular chair in there. Why would you use her pillow to put the head on? It's fine. No, to sit on. Holly's, well, Holly's sitting on it. Okay, I yeah. was gonna say. You, you but can. Paige has a singular chair. You, you, you can probably. Mars is usually sitting here. You can probably ask uh, Mars or Paige to use their their lap as a pillow. That works. Ah. So. <laughs> ha! Okay, jokes. Isabella is also winning. <laughs> Isabella is always willing. I'm sorry, guys. He's not willing to share. We can... Holly just starts blushing. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, let the let me light the incense. You know, Holly, um, strums along with her lute. Ugh, low bass chord. That's the first question. Who do you work for? <laughs> she sings it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, the response you get, let's see, Norgorber, I'm sorry, what was that word? <laughs> Norgorber, Nor Norgorber, thank you. I recommend we change one of the questions to ask, the fuck kind of name is that? Yeah, fucking, <laughs> excuse me? We end up using like four questions. Really? Right? <laughs> no, but seriously, like that's just their actual, like they didn't change it to that or anything? Or is that like their chosen name? Like, bruh. Did their mother hug them as a child? <laughs> Well, th this is only the first first head, right? Yes. And we have five per head. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we can absolutely focus on the... <laughs> no. We, we can focus um, on this person for this set of questions. Who do you work for? Now we know who they work for. Where does Nor Gerber <laughs> live? Um, who is Nor Gerber? How many bases do you have? How many Where people can we do find Nor Gerber? That kind of thing. Yeah. Like, focus on that, and then the next head can be how many bases do you have, etc, etc, etc. Have any of us heard of a name like, like, specifically, like, have we actually, like, can we roll a history to see if that name sounds familiar? Sure. Can I roll one? Sure. 21. <laughs> Mars, fittingly, you have no idea. Uh, Gaius, yeah, you're aware. Um, this is... 
<sighs> Father Skinsaw. Father Skinsaw. This is the deity of thievery and assassination, as well as the keeper of secrets. <laughs> they work for a fucking deity. Great. Goody. Guys, says this out loud. <laughs> huh? Sorry. There's a deity by the name of North Clover? Yes, also known as Father Skinsaw. Yeah, Father Skinsaw, the Reaper of Reputation, the Grey Master, Blackfingers, King of Thieves. Yeah. Just, just to name a few. Yeah. Lots of names. Lots of bloody practices. Mm -hmm. I get the feeling they made most of those names themselves because they thought they were cool. It's not a phase, man. <laughs> the best part is that somebody who practices the religion is a Norgorberite. <laughs> Blame that to your parents. Great. That's the career path you chose. <laughs> yep. Sticking okay. There. This is why people think D and D is evil. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now we know that line of questioning is not going to fucking really work. Cause I mean, that's a god. I don't know if you want to try and kill a fucking god. We joke about it, but you know. <laughs> Add another god to the list. Right. Assuming there's well, three gods. Maybe there's a different person they report to. Here. And yeah, there. that might be a good question to ask. Instead of where can we find Norgorber? Um... Uh, yep. Yeah. Who do you report to in Hada? <laughs> yeah. There's a reason why Holly doesn't sing. But. So he's in your doing it now? <laughs> Sorry, say that again. Is is there a particular reason why you're doing it now? You have to ask the skulls the questions. Yes, but I I, I don't think singing the, the the questions is is part of the verbal components. Unless, it's just... or is is this? Oh, it helps me broadcasting. Fo it it helps me focus. Hmm. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> we just fucking lost Laura. And I want so She's badly. Like, okay, I guess I'll leave. <laughs> I, I want so badly for Holly to think that she had to sing, and now she's like, "No, I I knew I didn't have to." No, I totally. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Th that's exactly like. Yeah. It's like, wait, you don't have. I mean, yeah, I know. I, yeah. You good, Laura? Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay, we're good. It's fine. That was hilarious. Like the perfect timing. He's like, oh, okay, gotta go. <laughs> Just bloop. He's like, I can't be here for this. Secondhand <laughs> embarrassment is too much. God damn it. Uh, um. Okay, so your second question, who do you report to in here? The master. The master? Maybe it should have been phrased as what is the name of the person you report to in Hida? Um, <clears throat> you would hear in your mind uh, from Emmy. There's a good chance if they're using a title, they wouldn't know that answer. <sighs> Be 
Maybe we should focus on on why they were in the um, in, in the sawmill. What was the purpose of them occupying the, the sawmill? That, that sounds good. Yeah, that's an eloquent way of saying why were you in the sawmill, but. That, Take that it works. away, Holly. <laughs> well, if you if you just make make it, why were you in the sawmill? Because it was my day for work. Like that, it's, there's plenty of ways to get around it. I, I, I think you're that's right. A great way of phrasing it. Yeah. Fuck. Um, so what was the purpose to be in the song? Oh, nope, nope. What was the purpose of occupying the sawmill? This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and Mars, lo and behold, work. God fucking damn it. Mark just doesn't say that when I do. Um, I think we should have specified for the cult. Hearing several of these answers, maybe he's just going to look at Holly and in her mind go, Holly, this magic that you're working. Are they compelled to speak to you? Do they have to tell the truth? Or could they just say anything? Um... Because these sound like the answers I would give if I didn't really want to talk. If I had a long day and just wanted someone to leave me alone. Yeah, these are deliberately obtuse answers. And, I mean, maybe, maybe if I could find out motivation, why, Emmy, why they were. Emmy stares at you for a bit, and then, are they compelled to answer truthfully? No. She blinks, <laughs> and then in your mind, yes. she's our enemy. Why would they answer truthfully at all, then? Why would we trust anything, it says? If you were uh, killed by an enemy and brought back to this, would you be truthful? I may not be that familiar with lies, but I've learned enough from you all to understand that much. Well, it's already proved useful in the fact that we know working with more Gorber. Emmy blinks again. How do you know? How do you know that's not an absolute lie? That's fair. Like I said, would you have answered truthfully? Emmy looks like, I mean, she's got fox face, but she looks kind of shocked. Like, wait, what? <laughs> um. Okay, no. Uh. Well, it's the only clue we have. It's the only option we have right now. Wait. Wait, one moment. Hang on. Hold up. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Would, would you happen to have Zone of Truth prepared at the moment? Oh, um... Hmm. As I pull up her spell sheet. <laughs> <laughs> I have a second. <laughs> didn't have any of the NPCs up. I didn't think I would name them quite yet. Uh, Zone of Truth. Um, considering There's... that you guys had Thea for the last job, uh, I haven't touched Rhea's sheet in a bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a percentage chance that she does have it prepared. Go ahead and roll me percentile dice. Choose high or low. Fuck. Um. Hi. Okay. No. Oh, fuck me. Um, not, not right now, no. Sorry. Oh, um, oh, ah, that, that, that's fine. Um, we could possibly see if we can uh, get a scroll of it or something, but if we can combine the two spells, then, then that would resolve it. I think. I mean, well, because there is a saving to. I don't know. Can a can can a dead head make a saving throw? Let me double check with Zone of Truth. Would I also would I be uh, able a creature to use... that enters? Yeah. So considering that you're giving the semblance of life and not actually giving life to the head, it's it's not a creature. It's an object. Mm. Yeah, because so soul it wouldn't is be not effective. There. Yeah, it mm, wouldn't work. Probably not. Boo. So words of terror also wouldn't work. Not if it's something that needs a creature. Yeah, because keep in mind we're not talking to the entity. We're talking to an echo. Yeah. Yeah. An echo, which and 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 Emmy had to wait for a few answers because she wouldn't grasp this. An echo, which is not compelled to be honest in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. Though uh, I agree with something James said, that name might be honest. You can't make that crap up. <laughs> Such a weird yeah. name. No, but, no. but uh, I'm sure many people are aware of the different gods in the pantheons. Yeah, that's true. Um, but Emmy's just kind of wide-eyed and then looks around and then after a while in your mind, Holly, perhaps asking it a question it would be happy to answer. Perhaps its life's purpose or how close it had become to achieving its goal I'm not sure. Yeah, what just... would an I yeah, as you say, what would an enemy be happy to tell you? Why do they wish to kill us? Um, what's the goal of? Group, the Brotherhood. <laughs> Let me just double check what I have on the group. And yes, I know Holly did not sing that question that time. Mm -hmm. Intentional. Okay, so the goal of the group. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Our flock's purpose 
is to shape society by death. Um, do you I was thinking y'all think about asking me if they, you know, if killing people to harvest something and that's somehow shaping society, do they only kill, do they discriminate or do they kill indiscriminately? Who are your targets? Who, what she said, who, 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 who are your targets? Those from Visions. So that would be the five questions. We never ask them if they know us. <laughs> <laughs> You've still got yeah. two heads. Yeah. Still have two more heads, and we know they're a bit more willing to talk about their group. In general. Do they know us? You get the second head? Yep. Okay. Maybe they hands it off. What are we doing with the first one? Like it. Does it, does it go back in the bag? Yes. Like <laughs> it needs gnawing on it. We're, we're gonna need like a... Um. a cooler of holding to keep all of these from rotting. Yeah. yeah. What, what we should probably do is mark the, the first head to make sure that um we know that that one's out of juice. This bitch empty. Do they, like, look the same? do they all look the same? No, they're different people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Just... keep, keep a mental note then. Well, yeah. Sharpie marker on it. Right. Yep. <laughs> I've put a little heart on his forehead. Mwah. <laughs> uh, his mm. skin's all... Yeah. I'm sorry. I know that, um... Certain things are... are fact, but I'm, I'm trying to see if they know of you or not. Because that part isn't in this portion. Don't know where I've written it. Because I do have a specific note of who knows who. Well, they admitted to being a group. Um, yeah, we should ask the name of the group Right, okay, so... Well, we know the name of the group. Okay. Uh, real quick. Uh, upon asking if this skull knows who you are, well, head, it's not a skull quite yet. No.
So they don't know us. Great. Chalk one up to the good guys. We say oh, as we dude. talk to dead body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do new followers join the Brotherhood of the Seven? Visions and trials. I'm consuming it all. I feel like, you know, death by a thousand paces because. Um, did you join willingly? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> How? Visions and trials. Oh, you you have to specify more than just. Yeah. You've one question left. Anybody got any uh, ideas? Crafty phrase? I mean, we'd look at Holly. Perhaps it would be good to determine how far gone our opponents are. If they are. She hesitates for a second. Brainwashed to the extent of being nothing more than tools or if they still have their own thoughts about them. Ask them if there's any last words they would, they would like us to give to someone else. A tool would have none. Do you have any last words you want to pass us on? Pass on? Us to pass on? To someone specifically? You when I, me, me when you, when I, when you, when, Did you when. ever have a, when you, when you. Did you ever have a, a dream when you, when I, when you were, when, when I, you were, you, when. Pronouns can be hard. So, if there are any final words to Lyalee Safe Flower, or, I'm sorry, Sage Flower, the 
the boy is safe. Why are these sage? Okay. That's something to go upon. So... What do you all think? We could talk to the last skull, but I feel maybe a bit more inclined to see if I can, I don't know, gather information from the little bit of clues we did have. Yeah, why not? So what information did we glean, friends? Well, the Brotherhood of the Seven accepts new trials, or new members through visions and trials. Mm -hmm. So they do accept new members. But the visions and trials are not something that we can control. No. Um, Which is also why continue. they ignored the shit out of us. <laughs> when we said we were newcomers. Yep. Um, but when we left, they said there was a there was somebody shouting, and they said, "What? What did they? It was like uh, kill the deserters or something." The intruders. Intru it wasn't intruders. I don't wasn't that? Was. No, it wasn't intruders. I don't think. Mm. I think it was traitors. We would have to listen to the other session, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. I have it up right now. I'm going exactly to the spot right before the ambush. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Damn, she got this shit time stamped. Yeah. <laughs> On Damn. It. Didn't know your notes were that precise, D. <laughs> not i just know what the battle looked like over the course of it yeah it looks <laughs> shit <laughs> <laughs> like keeping a painting of a train wreck on your wall ah! yeah <laughs> this wasn't our group's first train wreck either it really nor wasn't. will it be the last no you know, you know. gotta have lofty goals uh -huh. Not becoming a train wreck seems like a good one. We'll give we'll get there. Just give us like five to seven levels, provided we survive that long. <laughs> shit. There's me beating the shit out of Gaius. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh -huh. Fucking three. Yeah, crits. which which part? Yes. Like which which time? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he opened the door. <laughs> Open every door time. become pin cushion. <laughs> like every time. Oh. We could try and track down I don't know if it's gonna take too long. It definitely wasn't traitors or deserters though. I can tell you that much. We can... Um... Try to survey the sawmill. The... Brothers of the Seven. We can try to find uh, information on uh, Laylee Sageflower. Um, yeah, 
try to find out more about local customs, if there is actually anything known about followers of Lord Gorber. Oh, uh, I have a book about the the gods of mm -hmm. this place. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll fucking... Mars starts flipping through that. Remind me, is it one for like the gods overall, or one for specifically for uh, for Hada? because uh... I know you had one for like the overall gods that you got forever ago. I don't recall if you picked up another one. Uh... Fuck! I'm gonna have to find my other thing. I had it. I had it written down. Can't believe you've done this. Thriller and cows. Um. So this was all the way back from uh, from when she just grabbed a bunch of books from the Marquis's place, but uh, the only details that you gave me were uh, it has details on the gods worshipped um, in uh... oh, yes, gods that's, that's Sorry, just the general you. pantheon then, right? Yes. Back from the, the masquerade. Yeah. Yeah. Whew, that was forever ago. Alright. Fucking right. Yeah, there's a um there's an entry on Norgover. Alrighty. She will she will start reading through that, I guess. Okay. Uh ba -ba -ba -ba. so yeah. The deity of thievery and assassination, keeper of secrets. It's called the the Reaper, blah, blah, the Reaper of Reputation by some. Um, of course, among his other worshippers, he has more insidious titles. He's an enigma to most, and his true motives are unknown. Many of his followers are ignorant of his plans and designs. He's the only evil deity among the Ascended, which is a group of deities who achieve divinity through the power of the Star Stone, or by passing the test of the Star Stone. Oh. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. He went through the test of the Star Stone. Um. His mortal past is unknown to the general public, and his followers go to great lengths, supposedly, to keep it a secret. A lot of people believe that if the origin of this god became known, that he would become undone. Um, he's most frequently depicted as an ordinary human male, dressed in brown and black clothing, with his face either partially or completely obscured. His symbol is a one-eyed mask. Sacred animal is a spider. His areas of concern, of course, are greed, secrets, poison, and murder. His home uh, is Dusk Fathom, which is a city below Axis, a plane in the outer sphere between good and evil. Uh, his criminal activities are tolerated as a necessary evil by other gods because there is no law without crime. Ah, uh, yes, the bullshit balance to the force. Mm hmm. There's information about specific divine servants there's information about his uh, certain relationships with other gods um, 
Does it say about anything about animals? Uh, does it say anything about um like emotions or anything in there that might like indicate like what he would want or why he would want greed? No. Or just general evil backstabby fun murder. Okay. There is nothing about specific emotions at all. Just that they are generally as worshippers are just thieves and assassins and murderers and spies, but nothing about greed or anything else. Looks up from the book. Well, from what I can tell, anyways, if there is some greater divine plan of his, then more likely than not, the lower pawns wouldn't know anything about it, just their orders. Like, we should study them more. Maybe follow up with them. And what are they doing here in the city? What What is it about that sawmill? I mean, for all we know, that's just a location that they chose it could be a legitimate business that they're just using to fuck what's the word both legitimate well, under, just like a, a front yeah like a like a like they're so it, uh, I mean th there was the whole skin saw whatever the fuck it was that one name. Yeah, the uh, Father Skinsaw. Yep, that one. But, um, um, generally, my understanding is legitimate businesses don't need 12 to 16 armed individuals on a daily basis. Well, I'm not saying that it's a legitimate business. Like, Properly, but they could be just working there, and then at other times it's it's used as a as a way to launder money. I I it's just there's. I I agree with you. I think it's it, it seems very weird. It doesn't seem right, and I think investigating it could could provide more information. Just. It's definitely not as it seems. Investigating it, how specifically? Well, right now, just observing it. Maybe we'll find who one or two people that seem in charge. Follow them. I, um, I mean, we can try, but as, as much as we attempt, we don't tend to be very stealthy. 
and our group is rather memorable. Yeah. We're, we're not great at the stealth. Takes Mostly me. Slowly. Hello? 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 Blue found something, I think. Oh. I think? <laughs> yeah. Okay, one, four, five, four, seven. What does he call us, Katia? Assholes. I don't know. Hold on. He wouldn't be wrong. But still. He'd be accurate, but you wouldn't be. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Don't know why I chose that, but okay. Sure. Right. Is that is that totally like not related at all? Did I just misremember did I remember that for no reason? I don't remember. I'm like completely got a brain fire right now. Oh, we'll shelve that for now. We'll we'll get. I'll get back to you. I'll well, I'll yeah. watch it again <laughs> and okay. uh, go through it. It. I mean, it may have been because of Holly's disguise, but I mean, mm. I don't know. For the record, he did call us traitors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Neat. I'll have to rewatch that bit. I'll get back to you. <laughs> So, Ooh. what were we doing? I forgot. We, yeah, we, fuck it, I remember. we really need to figure out what we want to do. Like, uh, we, we have some information about the, um, from the skulls, but we need to figure out how we want to act on it or if we want more information. Um. <clears throat> so, I can do this thing where um you can kind of read like this the surface thoughts of a creature or you can probe in deeper and and find out information about specific topics um but i have to be within say 30 feet uh huh uh, if we can follow somebody, maybe, oops, wrong thing. Um, get them to catch them in a place where their guard's down. I buy beer, I don't know, something, you know, um, and then start asking them questions. Uh, I, I would be able to at least get his initial first thoughts, um, and they would have, they, they, there would be no real reason to be lies. Uh-huh. That's an interesting way to go about it. Um, I thought you were going to go in a completely different direction. And my thought is really stupid, now that I think about it. Well, what was your thought? Um, you can't cast that while also speaking with dead, right? What? It, it, read or detect thoughts? Yes. Yeah, that would require a creature, it requires right? a creature. Yeah. Mm. And this wouldn't count as a creature. No, it's no. an object. Got it. Okay. Yep. You know Thought what I was going to say. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
On the plus mm-hmm. side, if we ever lose one of the skulls, we know what spell that we need to throw out. <laughs> Locate, Locate object. object, yeah. Yes. Um. So. Yeah, that's that's about all I got. We can try and follow one of them or the friend one of the people if they leave for the night or something. Uh-huh. Do we think these Probably. people have day jobs? I think they're just a cult all the time. That's rude. I mean, and so they're very hardworking. <laughs> At the very least, they have to send somebody out for food or something. It's a DoorDash. Is <laughs> Ye old DoorDash. Ye old cult dash. <laughs> <laughs> they have their own app for that. At some point, they're going to run out of ins- incense, okay? That, I know, toilet paper and incense, that's huge commodities and cults. I have so many questions and I want answers to none of them. <laughs> I think I'm good. Um... Or we can find this, try to find, uh, the flower tree. Flower tree. Page flower. Page flower. flower flower tree. tree. Well done, Chris. Yep. Um... I love it. I may have filed the name under plants. <clears throat> that was that was the extent of the information my brain retained. God yep. damn. Squee, what do you think? So, uh, as always, Emmy Emmy in character is is unconcerned with what the group chooses to do. She's just gonna keep you all alive as best she can. Out of character, I'm kind of lost, guys. <laughs> I'm not sure what the best course of action would be. Do we know if there's a Bath and Body Works here? The Bath, that Bath and Beyond? The BBB? No idea if there's one here. So maybe, maybe, maybe we can solve this by by asking questions, right? What do we think offers the most? chance of getting more information because we seem to be lacking information right now in uh yeah. right we, we are correct yes yeah so what, what what could we do that we think might have the best chance of giving us that information find a living person and ask them about who or where the master is I was actually... Oh, you mean a living part of the... Uh, for a second, I thought you were just like someone off the street. Just oh, no. grab the, <laughs> the, shove a mic in the, the master? person's face. Where is he? <laughs> if, if you want, if you think it's spread to the entire town, yeah. We have to root out corruption and evils. Oh, ooh, mm, mm-mm. Not what we're doing, actually. Um, I was actually thinking if we can find a a BBB, 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 uh, we could probably go to them and be like, hey, so there's this one cult in particular that's in town. They seem to be part of, you know, the whole evil god thing, and you guys seem to keep track of them. Is there any information 
you guys would be willing to share about these guys. Maybe. Just, like, like what information they would have already gathered about them, their whereabouts, their habits, anything like that. Because normally these guys keep track of the evil dudes. Yeah, that, that is a good point. That is a very good point. Because right now, short of just going back to the lumber mill and just doing everything all over again, I can't I can't think of what to do. Really. Which, that is still an option, and we'll probably want to go back there eventually, but, like, if we can kind of skip over that for just right now and have a better idea of, like, what we're throwing ourselves into, like, yeah. might as well try. And if anything, talk? like, if the, if the Aurium isn't aware that there's, like, a whole-ass cult here, we can be like, hey, there's, like, a whole-ass cult over here. Yeah. <laughs> See these skulls? It proves it. You wanna talk well, to them? Mass. Like, mass actually, the, it, it's a fair question, though. Do we have proof? Like, that's not to mean we shouldn't tell them. Word is still better than nothing, right? But do yeah. we have something we can show to enhance the argument there is a cult here we have the letter that foxglove had on him we have the information in the deed that the property is going to them and we also you know it, we, the, there's there's also the heads and the masks and the robes and Uh, what, you think we threw these together on our own? Yes. <laughs> Do you work here? No. I just bought this entire place's uniform from Goodwill. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's my vote. We, we go to the Orium, we let them know, we see if they have any information. We don't Hopefully. necessarily need to go to the Arium. I mean, I can send a message to Aya. We don't or... know if she's on this plane, which means oh. there's a percentage chance that it's not going to go through. Yeah. Because if she is in the Arium place, I'm pretty sure that counts as another plane or dimension. What? No. It's crazy. It's this is so inconvenient. Terrible. No good. Very bad. How am I supposed to call customer service and complain about things? Aren't you complaining already? Not enough. Specifically to someone. <laughs> there must be more. I need to speak with a manager. Uh, hey guys, I I need to go. Okay. Everything okay? Okay. Yeah, I just I have to go handle some stuff. Gotcha. Okay. okay. So okay. thank you guys for watching. Um, we we'll, we will continue this uh information awesome gathering. Mm -hmm. no, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.